Hey, everybody. What's going on? It's about time to begin this. My escape gem, man. Thanks for the bits, dude. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the moving here about it.
I haven't done Quizzler in a while because questions is an issue, really. That's really why. Uh, let me see. It, it's uh, it's a tough show to run. It really is. Well, I was playing a little game called Rival Schools, making sure it was up to the task. I'm wondering if there's a way to select characters in this, but... Um, it looks pretty good to me. No file. <laughs> Love this uh, cinematic screen we got going. Obviously not an English game. Okay. Well, anyway, I do have a uh, state for it just to get moving here. I think, yeah, the only issue with this game is going to be that they pick characters for us, which uh, I don't know the characters anyway, but um, we have teams, uh, so it's going to be... Oh man, the bet's gonna be so high. I'm gonna go up 100k today because this is the last day. Uh, the winners tonight will be the winners for this season, so don't be afraid to put down some money if you're looking to get big on the bets. Top versus bottom. 100k max bet. Which one do you like? I've been scheduling so many things, man. I have a match of LTTP tonight at midnight. We didn't get the one happening that was supposed to happen earlier. It just didn't work out. It looks like the one that midnight will happen though. Anyway, you got 45 seconds to place your bets first match of the night we're going for two hours starting now so at 10 hours uh, at 10 o'clock 10 past 10 we're wrapping this up that'll be the final match 30 seconds <laughs> our ridiculous amount of money is floating out there by based on what I'm seeing Time to start. Uh, I was just watching this game a little bit, looked pretty interesting. I'm sure this game has other ports, right? Not just PlayStation 1. Stout hearted American. Oh, 
Round one, fight! <laughs> <laughs> Tardy counter. Oh yes, I'll pretend to know what a burning vigor attack is. But that those are some interesting uh, fireballs that that dude has. He's not very good at picking the right direction, but uh, he does have an upward shot. Down one. <laughs> Businessman is the best rival school student. Is this, is this like a principal? I'm waiting for him to tag in his teammate. It doesn't seem like he wants to. I'm pretty sure that he can. Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> well, they didn't uh, summon their allies. I wonder if they are prone to not do that. Here's the scoop. Well, here's our next match. Uh, we have completely different characters, like radically different. I'm gonna go bot instead of bottom, so three letters each, throw in. Which one do you like? We've got extremely not students versus still not looking like students. Maybe the bottom guy is, I guess. Like a senior, though. Maybe this is college, I don't know. Let me fix that ratio. Up in Matty if you want. Uh, yeah, so the, the ratio on some of these PlayStation games needs manual adjustment, which is why I had it messed up like that, but you know. Simple switch will fix that. I just gotta remember to do it on this menu, because this menu, on my, unfortunately, is not the same problem as the actual game. These guys look like they own a dojo and have for a hundred years. Not, <laughs> not like high school students. I was expecting more Ricky Cuneo kind of characters, you know. There are a couple. I do have cheats to unlock more characters, but I don't think that I can pick any characters. Yeah, I got 40 seconds to bet. Class president is that guy? Well, I don't know that they're actually going to switch. We didn't see any of that last time. They have a backup, but they didn't use it last time, so. Okay, it's time to start. <laughs> Round one, fight! Kira. <laughs> Oh no, we did have a switch. The summon. This huge dude just comes out of this. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Yo, can you can you toss me at him? Whoop. Round two. Fight. Oh, they've switched characters for real this time. I wonder if that's an option they can just do. <laughs> the team up techniques kick ass. Man, he just got cancelled. Oh, that didn't work. Top wins. He just canceled grapples him, dude. Scoop! The scoop is that you're no match for a guy with a sword in a fist fight. Right, we've seen uh we've seen all these characters, in fact. Let me uh let me re-roll it actually. And also, there may be some uh some more to unlock here. Give me a second and we'll do that. These two really like to be on a team. I'll cycle them a couple times. They they seriously will not unteam th those two. <laughs> well, it's tempting to put in Bowman. Gan and Akira are 100% on the same team no matter what. Let's watch a movie. <laughs> Maybe that'll mess it up. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Though, Hanada and Sakura were also on a team earlier, but, uh... Here you go. Push your bets. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get. I mean, technically it's a movie. I mean, all movies are... pictures set to audio, right? We got all the elements here. We've got everything. And you've got 90 seconds to bet. Not on Sakura versus Roy and Tiffany. We finally saw some team moves last match. Only one team, and apparently, I don't understand the rules exactly, but I, I thought that they could, and yes, they can, switch uh, between rounds at least, who they're playing as for the main. And it didn't save them, but they totally switched. Yeah, the ones that are um, not colored in, like not lit up, are the ones that are the sub, the substitute backup uh, team battle buddy. In this case, it's Sakura and Roy. Uh, it's Tiffany and Nada are in the front scene here.
but they do have the ability to switch on uh, the main if they want to. Let's do it. <laughs> There's Ak Akira again. Boxing gloves. Angela on fire. Combos. Holy crap, dude. Man. Kanata's got some serious punches. She's kicking her shoes off. Incredible. I wasn't sure who pulled that grab off of it, but it was not Hanada, so she didn't win. Not yet, anyway. Team attack. Well, that evened off the score. There, it is finally landing that last punch. That was really close. Round two, fight! Come on, baby! What the? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Royce. <laughs> Royce here, I guess so. Uh oh. Destroyed. I think Roy's in trouble. Yes, he is. He's he's burning to death. In fact, which is a bit of trouble. Top team is one, and they're dancing about it. All right. <laughs> Some good advice there. Let's see if our RNG is with us. Yeah, we can do this. Uh, we've seen two of these characters. Two of them are new. We got Batsu and uh, Bowman on coming out. Bowman, unfortunately, is not in the lead uh, of this round, but uh, I would like to see what he can do. We might not. We might. Depends on if they play him. Finally identified that song a while ago that I could not um, figure out what it was. It was an East song. I should have known. Make sure you put your bets in 15 seconds early because you got a little bit of delay, uh, Twitch delay. That's gonna happen. So don't wait too long. Go by what the bot says in chat because they're your, they're your warning, really. Chat is accurate. This is not the song. Let me find it. I forget which song exactly it is, but I know it's an East song. I think it's from one of the games I had not played yet, like Origins. Lots of good music in these games. Twenty five seconds left. I think it's it might be this.
Yeah, that's it. And I'll play that later. It's time to start. Let's do it. <laughs> this downhearted American. That's us. <laughs> Tiffany's boxing gloves return for the mansion battle. Immediately missing. <laughs> he keeps getting slammed. Jeez. That just seems pretty goddamn dangerous, man. Ah, Bowman's here. The businessman. All right. With the pink suit. The rotating punch. I love the polygons in these games, man. I was expecting it to not be 3D when I loaded this up the first time. Oh man, he hit him with it. I'm not sure what that move is exactly. I won't find out unless he lands it, I guess. He won't. Batsu took him down. Look how pissed off he is. <laughs> Well, you couldn't protect anyone with skills like that. Batsu undefeated so far. There we have two Batsus. Sure, let's do it. I don't see why not. Uh, one of them, they're both on the back burner, to be fair. You got two minutes to bet. This is really Hayato versus Sonata. I gotta fix that resolution again. There you go. Final AI Arena for this season. We'll be starting a new one next week, fresh and clean. A minute. Time's up. If you haven't placed it now, you're probably not going to make it.
I like the move list listed there, that's pretty neat. Yeah, this guy has a, a weapon. <laughs> He's having a really hard time using it. Hinata seems like an ace uh, choice, honestly. She keeps winning. Rematch. Everything she does lights people on fire. Look at that. It's disgusting. Man, I thought that was his opening, and he's the one dying. Switch characters, my dude. Get Patsu out there. Oh no. <laughs> Bottom has finally won with the help. Oh, that guy back there just doesn't even understand what he's looking at. Well, we'll do one more of these. I'm sure there's characters we haven't seen yet. That being said, uh... Not too big a deal. So, um... We have Roberto and Natsu. Those two are new. And so is Kiyosuke. But he has Batsu on his side if he chooses to use him, which wasn't the case last time, but we'll see. <laughs> Look at those all-in bets. I like the final days where 100k comes out instantly. As soon as the bets open. Well, Batsu's not in charge here, he's the backup, so you shouldn't trust him, he might not even be allowed to play. But do you trust Natsu? <laughs> also the backup. Roberto has hair like a shark. All-in's a good option. I like it. You got 30 seconds left. Time to throw him in or not. This game is rival schools, united by fate. A percentage? No, you can't. Did the bot get overwhelmed? Let me see. Uh, not too many bets have gone by. <laughs> okay, well, that's just thank you. I'm, I'm checking on my bot. Hold on a second.
Very likely that last bit's gonna need to be redone if I do have to uh, restart him. He's overloaded. Okay, I'll g give me a second, I'll fix it. Try that. Okay, it's back on. I'm pretty sure that last bit didn't uh, get registered at all. Let me know if that's not the case. But we are, we're starting back over, we got two minutes. Oh jeez. Okay, Pit still bought uh, bits from everybody. You should be where you were before that bet um, happened. Hopefully. Which means that if you did beg, it probably got cancelled. <laughs> I think it's still money from everybody. I'm getting conflicting reports about that. K is the max bet, <clears throat> um, because um, that's the cap. I was wondering when this prompt was gonna show up. Hey, Dustman, thanks for the sub, man. If you did beg, it, it might not have uh, remembered that. If you did a beg after that. That definitely is a thing that could have happened. Well, now it's definitely uh, back on. Well, let's uh, let's keep moving. Cause I'm not sure, not sure if I can even fix that. If he, if he ripped you off, he ripped everybody off. Cause that's the only way that would have happened. But I would think that he'd go back one bet. Kiko, oh, he's a soccer player. That's un I didn't expect that. I thought he was a baseball player. What? What the? Guts up. That guts up isn't helping him very much. Gotta be honest. He's not using it. He's at seven and he's not using it at all. You're dead as hell. Victory! Round two! Fight! He's still got all that super though. This round should be his advantage. Man, you're at nine max. Not use it, dude. Some kicking soccer balls. Hey, oh. 
bands. <laughs> well, at least he won one. It's even now. Let's see who gets his final point. He still is sitting on all that bar. He feels like using it. They have switched to Batsu, the undefeated, as of yet. Can't break through. Oh man, nice jump. Oh, he's on his ropes. He's doing well, but it's Batsu. Can't beat him. Bottom team wins. Well, I think that's going to do it for Rival Schools. Pretty neat. Let's see what else we got in the store here. Oh, there's a game here that um, Devil Azite was really not interested in seeing. He's not here though. So, let's see what we're talking about here. Shadow Lady? What? That doesn't sound like her name. Capcom presents. Capcom presents. Marvel versus Capcom! <laughs> Marvel versus Capcom. She's a secret character, it's just Chung Lee with drills, drill arm. Okay. Makes sense to me. I understand. You know what? I'll put in the blue hulk. In Ryu. Now, um, how do I make sure that they are... AI, I guess, is my question here. What are these? Let me make sure that they're actually on AI and uh... Well, I'll figure it out. Like the Hulk team or the Spider team? Wolverine's the only one looking forward. Everyone else is looking in the wrong direction.
Idol Arena sounds like a great show. There's only one Capcom character here. I just realized. Just by, uh... Wolverine Eider Man. Holy Ryu. Out of time, you got 25 seconds left, maybe less. Yeah, it seems like my on screen display is um, a little delayed, which I'll have to fix as well. Let's start. Man, Hulk looks really goofy. Spider Man does too, but not that goofy. That's Hulk. I wouldn't even be able to identify him. With him being cyan colored and all. Showtime. Ready. Fight. <laughs> okay. We'll just leave it like that, that's fine. As I didn't like this game for some reason. I'm sure compared to the other ones, it's not up to par. They're not using their, um, their bar very much. Waiting to see some big old moves. That's what this game's appeal is to me. These. I enjoy those quite a bit. Spider-Man spends the entire game freezing his opponent and being out of control. Way up in the sky. The Hulk is actually surprisingly fragile. Spider Team has done it. Not so much Spider Team, but you know. <laughs> well, let's mix it up a little bit. Mega Man of Thor? Of course. Arthur. Looks good. I was looking for Mega... T it is Mega Man team, but he's barely visible. I looked at the screen and I couldn't see him. There's a Stun Lee team. Bets are open. Oh, I see my bet all in thing is starting the clock late. It's starting at like 2 minutes and 10 seconds, which is setting it off a little bit. It should be the other way around. It should be negative 10 seconds. I'm not letting the handicap be mismatched. I just uh, did that when I was typing and stuff. <laughs> Mega Man's here too. Thor, you don't know nothing about taking a picture, my dude. If you're that big, 
stand behind the small child in a robot suit. <laughs> it seems likely that we're doing a Link to the Past race um, in about three hours, thereabouts. So um, if you're interested in that, it'll be running. It's going to be pretty late, but it is going to happen, at, it seems like, at midnight on my time. And yeah, after tonight, we'll be resetting the scores completely. It's interesting to see which powers they chose for Mega Man, which ones they think are the iconic ones. <laughs> It's also interesting to see how useless his dog is. What the? <laughs> Here comes that rush drill! <laughs> Mega Man finally goes down. It's actually pretty even despite all that. Leaf Shield. Well, Leaf Shield's definitely not in Mega Man 8. And Arthur just comes out chucking spears. Hey man, you have a gun, dude. Stand back. Your health is so low, I would think you'd want to range a little bit here. That recovery is helping him out. Thor! Even in the. S oh man! Oh man, that was close. That was super close, dude. I didn't expect Mega Man to pull that. <laughs> uh, Thor came out of nowhere and evened it up, but he wasn't the one who got the kill and blow. Looking for more hidden characters, this role. Any other ones missing around here? Let me see. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. You have to do a whole bunch of stuff to unlock some of these. Let me see. It'll be hard for me to do it on player two. This is, um, allegedly Akuma. But I, I would think he'd show up when I picked him, if that was true.
Yeah, I'm not sure if that's working or not. I'm gonna go in real quick and make sure that it did work. Just curious. Just gonna check. Oh, is it just Akuma hidden behind Ryu's skin? Ready. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't seem like uh, my boy. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna pick uh, some of these optional characters instead of doing that. Oh, War Machine. Backed up by that, <laughs> I guess. And enjoy. Venom. This rope. War team versus Venom team. Go ahead and bet. It's open. How much does handicap help them? Like, if I handicap them, does their health go up or down? I don't, I'm always confused about how that works. I would think if I lowered it, they'd have more HP, right? <laughs> War Team's favorite ally. This team is the War Machine. I'm gonna lower the handicap to three and see if I notice much difference, but I, I figure it's gonna be subtle. Just one star. 30 seconds to bet, place them in. Live House of the Dark Realm. I want to go to Dr. Wily's military base. That sounds like a good place. Let's check it out. We are Venom. Ready. Fight. <laughs> this is the stage is everything I could desire and more. I made sure to pick the nastiest colors for this, too. Venom goes down. That didn't do as much as you would expect. Well, War Machine missile. He must have missed a lot of that. Uh oh. Venom 
Venom saved his bar there with that kill. He finally got it. Got a little bit back. Don't jump into it, you idiot! You had him! No, Venom. He's lost his mind. He's, he gets behind a guy shooting a hundred shots and jumps right in front of him. Anyway, War Team has done it. <laughs> I want to try a couple more characters. Um. Is it just what button I press? Yeah. Ro uh, Roll and our good friend Magneto. Zangief. Yeah, it looks real good with those colors. All right. This is good. This is fine. Roll team versus Zang team. The blue area of the moon? I don't think that exists. Let's go to the headquarters of evil. Throw him at me. runs the headquarters of evil. Is that an acronym or is it actually a bunch of guys that just want to kill things? Just a bunch of dudes who got together and says, you know what? We're evil. I mean, there's just no way around it, honestly. You got about 30 seconds to throw in, don't forget, to place a bet. Last night, I will give prizes to place one, two, and three. After tonight, uh, whatever your score is, is going to be gone to the wind because I'm going to reset it next Friday. We're starting all over. It's from scratch. Everyone will be even. We'll start all over on this journey through all these games. About time to close the bets. Roll is steaming mad. And Zangief is going outside of his borders. That's illegal. Ready. Fight. Oh, this is the headquarters of you. We've been here before. Is this Roll's theme? What is this? The Headquarters of Evil really like... ...these statues of dudes holding stuff. Roll has been body slammed. Uh, that's really what I wanted to see, is if Zankeef would just... ...slam everybody in this game. He keeps on doing it. Just a hundred slams. Thanks a lot, Zankeef, for filling my dreams. What the hell? Is it? <laughs> the Omega Roll has come. Ready. 
Magneto covers this tiny robot as she eats an orb to heal. An orb that came out of another tinier robot. Magneto's favorite team. Leaf Shield. Doesn't matter. Leaf Shield doesn't protect you from that. That's too bad. He's coming. He missed. He tried to grapple from a mile away. Did she just throw flowers and get body slammed instead of... Well... That's bad news, Zangief. You've been penguined. Beat plane. Oh, that was beat. I, I see it now. And there's Mega Man, just making sure that she wins. Roll team is unstoppable. Well, I can see losing to somebody who has access to beat. How do you beat that? You don't. Let's throw in... the Shadow Lady. Oh, here is dangerous. And a US agent. Which is totally not anyone else. Nope, that's, uh... That's them alright. Versus this orange Hulk and his buddy Devilot. Yeah. It's on. We'll fight on the rooftop of the Daily Bugle. Well, that's fine. I like that they rip off their own characters in canonically, like just canonically just scum themselves. I mean, of course they do, they write in so many of them, they eventually just, every instance that is possible, every iteration, it's my understanding, as somebody who doesn't read these at all, that there's a universe where all the superheroes are dying, but it's okay, because it's a different universe. I don't know how they uh, maintain that. I also don't know why the handicap keeps going down for one of the players. I'll make sure it's even the whole time, but uh, I always have to double check. I watched a Hulk movie once, and I still don't know how he got his powers. I have no idea. I completely forget. I barely even know what his power is. Uh, is he just unstoppably strong, like ridiculously? The cap on his strength is probably that he could pick up and throw the planet Mars. Kind of strong. Is he just that when he's mad? That's, that's my understanding of, of that guy. Magical radiation. Neat. Give me some of that, I guess. 15 seconds to go. Time to start the fight. Probably the last one of this game will do. I love that Hulk face, dude. Cornering Chung Lee with a drill is apparently a mistake. Is she made out of rockets? Man, poor Hulk.
Hulk, doesn't this make you angry? Shouldn't you be getting stronger? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he stands up and stretches out his arms to make sure that he absorbs as much of that as he possibly could. The shadow team has done it. I would like to see Gambit. I'm gonna pick him and somebody else. Somebody reasonable, probably. I really hate that color scheme. Let's find a good one. That'll do, I guess. Hey, Lou. Is this Ryu? Ninja Garden? Or is that somebody else? I, I have no idea who this is. Strider. Who's that? I've never played Strider then, I guess. I don't know what that is. Oh well. Captain Commando. I think I have an idea of who that is. We don't need two lose. Give me a minute to pick my buddy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I guess that's that's fine. The cliff of desolation. I'm just gonna put Gambit versus Captain. Uh, they're not really a team per se, anyway. They're just being supported. Gambit versus Captain. Throw your bets. Look at that gambit sweep. Yeah, it's a million smackers instantly. Incredible. Captain Commando has an angel with a sniper rifle. So that's good, right? Or at least an assault rifle of some kind. I have no idea where she's from either. Where's Captain Commander from? I'm wondering if I'm right in what I think he's from, but uh, I can't remember. Vaguely familiar character. His own game. <laughs> yeah, it sounds familiar. There's a lot of games with babies and mechs, that's how you forget. The Cliffs of Desolation. Man, Captain Commando has that Hulk face. <laughs> it just comes whirling by. 
Oh, he missed. It's a lot of air in this. Uh oh, there's that baby commando. Nice. Group photo time. those combos, man. They're both in danger. Jeez. Finally, somebody went down. Okay, Captain Commander has still got that little bit of HP that just will not go away. They've only got 45 seconds to finish this. Might be our first time out. Uh oh. That was wonderful. There's no debating that. Uh, Gambit, you need to start hitting him, man. You're running out of time, dude. You can't win this way. You can't win this way. You don't walk towards him. Do something, damn it! <laughs> you are so done for, man. You've got 24 seconds to get this cleaned up. You need some good moves to happen, buddy. Yeah, he might do it. He might be able to do it. He really just needs to connect. Captain Commando is not having any of it, apparently. Oh, the baby just got cancelled. You're done for, Gambit. You're finished. Oh man, they got him anyway. On the clock. Captain team wins. Right at one second, too. They had it anyway, obviously, but... Well, that's not too bad. I don't want to pretend to know, you know... Why uh, this game was unpopular with Azite. There's probably a good reason. But for my intents, it works fine. We've used worse. <laughs> Hold on a second, let's see what else we got on here. We haven't done Tekken ever, let's see how that goes for us. Chub mode for taking what the Tekken two. <laughs> I've definitely played this one before. A good bit. Uh, for a fighter. I don't usually play fighters, but I definitely had this one lying around somewhere.
What the hell? There's a bear. I seen him. Well, you know that I gotta see this match right out the gate. So, Kuma versus King, the Armor King. 100k max bet, there it is, throw him in. I think Kuma is an actual bear versus Armor King, who is a man wearing a mask of a uh, leopard or whatever. <laughs> Which one do you like? Do you think an actual bear can win in a fist fight? Actual bear? Actual bear is actually not too popular right now. seen this game in a long time. That freaking goofy background style. These, these games here. Let's do it. Let's give him a little boost. Yeah, that looks real good. <laughs> I'm glad I gave him a boost. As he sits on his ass and smacks him in the knees and does all that damage. This bear is made out of snow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I wanted to see when I queued this up was somebody picking up a bear and slamming him down on upon his head, upon his noggin, the ultimate move. This bear needs to be sanded down. He has done it. He has taken the win with that very dramatic claw punch. Kuma wins. Round <laughs> Why did you think you could fist fight a bear? Look at this. Disaster. This bear knows how to sweep. Nice punch. Armor King might get himself a point here. He did. He came back. Nice work. When fist fighting a bear, the best you can hope for is to annoy it enough that it just gets tired of it and leaves. <laughs> oh, 
Always a classic. There it is. Armor King is just perfectly fighting this bear now. Has him, has him down. Almost got that punch again. That would have sealed it if he could land that ultra punch. This might be it. It is. Armor King has come out of nowhere with this amazing play. All right. And back to these great jams. P Jack. I'm gonna give them more life, I think. Who do I like here? Let's see. Kinamitsu. Kunamitsu in a hat? Is that, what, is that what that is? This idiot, Paul, he is totally from Oberon Rain, and I have to see what he's like in this. And of course, we gotta check out Roger at some point. But my dude, Paul, I recognize him from Oberon Rain. We got Jack versus Paul. Paul has the ridiculous haircut. It's open. Place your bets. Well, he's not from Urban Rain. Uh, he's in Urban Rain as a guest from this game, and so is somebody else. Because Urban Rain took the Scoofy fighting and put four people in the arena together. That's what Urban Rain is. So they just, you know, rolled him right on out. Martial Law, that's right. Is he in here? I don't see him. That might be him in the second row. You got one minute to place your bets. It was basically Law and Paul that had maxed out stats. There were a couple characters in Urban Rain with maxed out stats. They weren't the strongest, even with that, but they were damn close. Like, almost irrelevantly close. It was really coming down to the movesets they had on whether or not they'd be the strongest and not the damage that they did was out of control. The 120k out on the field, and we have 40 minutes left in the night. We'll be moving on to a party game of some capacity after this game's done. Uh, but I am interested in a couple more matches following this one. Let's start. <laughs> I love how there's no transition, it's just and then there's this, this crappy fire screen. A robot skeleton. Well, I guess just the skeleton of an android, or a robot, or whatever, is what Jack is, actually. He's not a skeleton at all. He's a Terminator. That's completely different. Skeletons never win, but a Terminator might. Paul, your hair won't save you here. Nice. Paul, coming back. He really can't take damage. <laughs> what, what the hell are these moves? 
Uh, he really can't take damage, I was going to say. I like the move that he just did where they both are ending up lying. They just want he just wants them to look at the sky with him. Nice. His hair is not nearly as tall as it is in Urban Rain, by the way. It's like half as tall. He got a haircut for this game. So the bear is not the only one who has a move where they sit and just punch until they they punch so strongly that they move forward from the punch. Which seems like an odd thing to put in your video game about technical fighting. There's a lot of landing on your ass in this game. Paul, you're losing it. You're losing your grip. Nice work. I've seen that move before, that's an over range, but it doesn't matter, Jack is taking it. You just took too many hits, Paul. He's got wrecked. <laughs> I'm done here. Goodbye. Farewell. Let's see, uh... Yeah, there's Law. Let's put Law up against Grandpa. That's a fight that I want to see. I'm just gonna put in the first three letters of his long name. Just H -I H E I. Law versus H E I. Take your pick. Hachi. Can Hachi beat uh, Martial Law? This isn't the last night. Um, I always only do AI Arena on Friday. And every, about five or six of them, depending on how we went along the road, I reset everything after that. So next week, everyone will be at 500. The whole board's getting reset to zero. Level one's everybody with 500. So next Friday, same time, 8 p.m. EDT, if you're looking for a fresh start, that's the time to show up. The best way to win is certainly to be here as much as possible, but um, that's not mandatory to win. It would be hard to win if you came in tonight as your first bet, but not impossible. You'd have to win every time, pretty much, but you could still get up there. I've seen it. You can get a whole bunch. It's easier when there's more bets open, so that's why I'm going to move to a party game here soon for the finals, because four choices, that's really when you're going to have a chance to get some points when people are spreading the bets, uh, the bets out that much. You got 15 seconds. Let's do it. Round one. Fight. He looks young in this game. Can they ring out in this game? I don't think they can, right? Like, it's just, a. Uh, it's got an edge for no reason, I think. I don't remember being able to knock people off in this game. I always say that, and then I'm proven wrong, but I don't think that you can. Oh, locking him down. Is there an edge at all? Or can they just back up forever? 
Always giving them the electric noogie and then the, the neck break, which is a little bit more dangerous than the electric noogie. Hey, he's doing it again from a different angle. All right. Nice work, Heihachi. It's not working out for him though, he's just taking too many hits. Bot blocks it down. But we got time for one more, I think, because I definitely want to see Roger. Alex now, that's fine. That'll do. Uh, who do I put in against him though? Let's see this, this battle. Uh, I put in Roger instead of Alex, but there you go. So if you want to bet on the left, put in Roger. I don't know why I renamed him. It's because I picked the wrong skin, probably. Is it Billy or Jelly? Impossible to tell. Bets are almost up. Let's do it. Alex is Roger. Roger is Alex. Round one. Fight. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty sure it is a kangaroo versus a raptor. Absolutely. That is, I, I remember now. That is true. This dinosaur has appeared. I feel like boxing gloves hinder your ability to fight, Alex. You should have to wear shoes too. I got that Donkey Kong punch. <laughs> nice. That's too bad. Well, yeah, if you put boxing gloves on all their weapons, a dinosaur would be pretty bad. I mean, they could still bite you. He doesn't seem inclined to do that, though. Ah, the pile-driving raptor, all right. <laughs> I love these. Uppercut. My god, he's really nailing it this time. 
300 moves, this raptor. <laughs> Final round. Fight. That wind up punch is truly the worst. I haven't seen him even try to land it. He just spins. It takes forever. Every time, man, you gotta knock it off. Oh man, I, I swear you died because of that punch. Kuni is one. What a worthless move. Well, certainly up next, we're gonna switch games. Let me see. Bop, 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 bop. We're gonna give people a chance to get some real points here with a multiplier on. The top five is about to go crazy. This week, this season, with uh, Mario Party 2 Battle Mode, four players, probably enough time for two sets of games. Let's put in Mario, and his horse, and the monkey, the ape, and uh, you know what? Wario or Luigi? Put in Warrior. I like his dumb voice acting in this game. They will be on super hard, despite what it says. We'll do a short one first. I think we'll do one of each, actually. We have time for that. There is going to be a 20% boost on this. For free, all the bits that go in there, all the smackers will be amplified. Not only that, the ability to side bet is open as well for up to 50k. I want you to pick who you think will do the best and who will do the worst. The side bet is now open as well. So if you want to do the side bet, type in side bet and the same name and also your bet. And I'm gonna mute this music because it's already driving me crazy. We're gonna play something else. <laughs> what do we got here? There we go. Place your bets. Now's the time to get some points. If you uh, if you're close to the top five at all, you might get 
launched up to number one. Even if you're not, you can get a whole lot of points out of this. I've seen people come out of nowhere and get get ranked. This is your best chance. This is these bets right here. Get them both in and win them both, and you'll be uh, you'll be ranking up real fast, dude. It's got big prize pool right now. Side bets are still open. You're running out of time for the main bet, though. Place your side bet. Who's going to do the worst? If there is a tie for worst place, I tend to just go by uh, my own opinion. I will definitely do that. Here we go. Now, for the record, there's a couple mini games I hate uh, for this. I will avoid them. I can use RNG to keep them from being picked. I don't see any of them here. These are all fine. Tipsy Tourney's fine. The big one is the um, the honeycomb game where they count and they're supposed to play count, but they don't do it right. Here, they just need to unlock the drawing. Which they, they're all really good at the start of it, and then they forget how to play, and this this happens. Mario might have it. DK, they're all they're all doing well. Yoshi or DK, who won? Yoshi. Point one to Yoshi. Honeycomb Havoc is absolutely the one I don't want. <laughs> this is a three-point match. It might be over fast. If I absolutely can't figure out, like if Yoshi sweeps it, it might be hard for me to figure out who lost, then I'd have to cancel the side bet. Uh, in which case, you'd get your money back. <laughs> Mario walks up and starts punching Yoshi in the mouth instead of going for the trophy. DK gets a point. Hexagon Heat is always fun to watch. <laughs> oh no. Wario is currently losing to everyone else, I'd say. Mario is putting up a fight for this point. Even if he doesn't get it, I'd say it would still put him in a solid third place over Wario. Speeding up. Uh oh. DK nudged him out of there. That's the second point for DK. This is gonna wrap up fast. He keeps it up. Wario needs to get some uh, skill in here or he's out completely. Skateboard scamper. really hard to say who's going to win this until the very end because uh, they always go for the coins, it slows them up, and like Wario was in the lead but he's already starting to lose his lead. He's lost it, DK's in the lead. They, they really rotate a lot in this and it's really hard to say who's going to get this. DK, okay, well, I think I am going to say that Wario lost the side bet. DK has easily won. No contest. That unstoppable boy. Wario barely losing to Mario, I'd say, for last place. A tie, but he did worse, overall. Points. There's your points, oh man.
We're gonna switch the characters. He's the one I'm getting rid of. Okay. Looks good. Same settings, this time five points. Uh, we got Mario. Luigi is here. Mario's still hanging out. And Peach has replaced... Place your bets. And the side bets open as well, 50k. It's gonna be first to five. One player does have to get five points. Mute that. <laughs> Back to it. There we go, that's better. That's what I was looking for. Some wild arms jams. Banana Prince could be done. <laughs> you have one minute to place your side bets, and less time than that to place the main. Let's see some more smackers out there. It's time to start. Let's do it. Hexagon heat. Luigi and Peach refuse to die. Oh, Luigi, just a frame away from safety. Almost made it. That's too bad. It was a good effort. He was just in bad positioning for that. Oh no, Mario just shitting on both players at once. Oh, burned him alive. Platform peril. Time for running. Wario is historically good at this for some reason. We'll see if he keeps up the usual pace he puts out on this running stuff. Luigi takes it, barely. Wario was putting up a fight. Yahoo! 
tile driver. Draw me a boo. Mario might take this one. Mario? Mario and... Oh, which one? Mario barely. Like, they were so synced up. The, the point spread's a little different this time. <laughs> nice work. Incredible. Luigi's already up there at four, but can he get the last one? Might be a while. Wouldn't bet on him yet. Mario's up there too now. The other players will be there eventually. Mario is also there. He okay, Luigi took it. Just as Peach gets there as well. <laughs> Roll call. Uh, I don't know that this one works very well. The way I'm running it. Uh, I, I guess it's okay. We can see how good they are at figuring out the number of boos. Nineteen or twenty, something like that. I think it's nineteen. Finish! Which a couple of them say. True. Triple trophy. Man, that's too bad for Wario. That's too bad, buddy. Dipsy Tony returns. Last two. Peach is very confused. Wario also very un not understanding what to do. None of them honestly seem to like grasp it. Luigi taking another point. It's gonna be a hard call between Peach and Wario for worst player if Luigi wins right now as he gets his fifth point. Almost there. Abandoned ship. The climbing game. Greed has usually ruined them here. I love how they get hit by everything in this. They never try to evade. Peach! Stop getting the money! What are you doing? Oh my god. I'm gonna make her a worse player just for her greed. That's just course. Peach is the worst. Side bet Peach. Luigi takes it. Let's reset the board. We're gonna pick our final characters for a seven point match. The last match of the night, this is it. And I'm gonna put a 30% a boost on this one. Wario was one off of beating her. She only got any points at all because she guessed right on the ghost game. And he almost did too. 
I don't agree with Wario was worse. Not that time. Put DK back in that sucker. Give Peach another shot. Yoshi. Luigi just took it. Wario and Mario haven't done very well. Yet. I'll put Wario back in. No brothers this time. No brothers. Seven point match. DK, Yoshi, Wario, and Peach. 30% boost on this. Final bet of the season. Here it is. And worst player also is there as a side bet. I'll let you put 75k on that side bet. Now open. Put in your final bets this is your last chance to get on the top of the board. Bet it all. Throw it all in. See how high you can rank. You got one minute left. Time's almost up. Main bets are closing. Side bets still open. You got time. Place your bets with the worst player. Last call. Last call. Time to start. Let's do it. Jumping right in. Honeycomb Havoc is against the law, so we'll, we'll wait a second and roll that RNG. Abandoned ship started right off with that. I love how they all allow this to happen. Nobody's driving the ship. They're all just looking at it crash. And they also think Apparently, they're climbing to the top of this huge mast. I pushed this floor for some reason. We'll save them. I'm really <laughs> sure. I mean, maybe this mast is so tall that the the ship at the bottom, you know, is on the bottom of the sea and the mast is still out of the water. DK is taking a point immediately, showing that he's the strongest still skateboard scamper. They would just skate backwards.
Last chance to get in front. I think Peach is out here, but I can't tell who's going to win. DK again? Yoshi. By a hair. Bumper balls. Haven't seen this one yet. Should be exciting. Man, Peach almost ate it right there. Just almost immediately went off the edge. Why are they rolling on the sides? It's so dangerous. DK is gone. Wario's in good position. Man. Peach. Wario and Peach. Peach is giving up her ground. She's forfeiting to Wario. It's... I don't know, they might be safe. These two. I don't... Then again, uh, they're pretty bad about rolling on the edge. They really like to do that for some reason. Peach, what are you doing? Oh my god, will you stop that? It's ice and you're on an orb. Are they gonna tie? They're both gonna get a trophy. They're playing the long game here. Do they both get a point for that, or nobody? Nobody. Oh, the draw doesn't work in that game. They're not allowed to draw that one. Sometimes they are, but not that time. Nobody gets a point. There's a couple games where they both will get a point, as we've seen. <laughs> Only Peach. Well, it all balances out, see? It all evens out in the end. Yoshi with the points. Alien with the bits. Thanks for the bits, man. Yoshi gets a second point. Unstoppable dinosaur. Hexagon Heat returns. Peach! Peach! No! Peach, that's too bad. <laughs> oh no, my dinosaur, he's done. Wario with the expert moves. That was good stuff. When you're slamming, you get these immovable frames. Wario wants to make sure he locks that one down. Dizzy dancing. Yoshi played that like he didn't have messed up controls at all. Who can slam the fastest? I'm not sure what the best strategy is here, it's hard to say. I'd have to play it like a hundred times to really figure out if big hops are best or not. I think, I think they help. A little bit. I think medium hops are better. Like, you get stunned way too long for those big ones. Wario's doing the big ones. And he, I mean, he's in the lead, but it's really, it's kind of a weird measurement. So maybe it is better. Peach finally gets a point. Whatever she did is the way to do it. Bombs away. Here's an example of one where you can tie 
and everyone will get a trophy if they succeed. If they, it's just a survival. You get a trophy for surviving. It doesn't matter if everyone else did or not. Peach is just murdered by that. What the? Direct hit. Taken out. <laughs> nice. I've never seen that happen, though. I've never seen them all wipe out on that one. That's pretty funny. There's the there's a draw style where they get no points, and then there's one where anyone who's still alive gets points, uh, and that one's a little bit more uncommon, uh, mini game wise. DK pulling way the hell ahead. Gets his second trophy on his way. Unsurprisingly, DK and Yoshi doing extremely well today. We're playing roll call. Again. And they're just in first and second again. This time, you have to worry about bombs blowing up. And ruining your count. God damn it. It's really hard with that happening, honestly. I think there's 16, 15, 14. I think there's 14 now, but... It's a mess now, it's hard to read it. Everybody's going for 14 except DK, is he correct? <laughs> oh no! DK, you blew it! Oh man, that tied the score right up. We don't play Honeycomb Havoc in this in this neighborhood. They're doing really well. Nobody got bitten. Nobody got bitten, even with that trickster play. Wario getting this? DK. Making up for his loss there. I've never seen all the AI survive that one. That was really good playing by all of them there. DK was just a little faster. Shy Guy says. Now we're gonna find out that they're colorblind. <laughs> Immediately, Yoshi is out, and Wario, right? Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately! Okay, DK, just have a point, whatever. Enjoy. Return a tipsy tourney. Yoshi's at five points, he's getting there. He's starting to get to the end. Two more to go for the dinosaur. Bombs away returns. I would like to see Slotco Derby, that's always a fun one. Everybody got hit by that, it felt like, but those two somehow survived. Wario! 
Thanks to death, he has done it. He's taken over. Putting him ahead of Peach. Get out of here, Honeycomb Havoc. What do you think you're doing in my game? Lava Tower. I don't think we've seen this today. This sometimes goes a little wacky. We'll see. Wario is very interested in punching, and not so much anything else. BK thrown way the hell out of the ring, what the... Peach kills herself trying to step on Yoshi. Wario just punching things into death. Merciless. That was some, that was some good effort there, Wario. Deserved. Second place is tied. Hexagon Heat, <laughs> a very popular randomizer choice, apparently. Stop! Peach, this always happens to you. Will you stop that? I've seen them survive jumping like she was doing. She's just doing it at the wrong time. You know, like she could survive that. Wario, this time, again. Didn't he do that last time? Walk out DK and take the victory? He's getting way up there in points. He's crawling his way to the top. He is now tied for first. Peach is so far behind. Totem Pole Pound returns. Peach doesn't look like she's winning this time. Looks like it's Wario or Yoshi. DK actually just barely takes it. That puts him up there too. You know it's a tie game for three people and then Peach is back there with like two points. Man, everybody has five except Peach. Too bad. Can Peach win five in a row? She could. Don't count her out yet, but um, we'll see, I guess. This, this roll call typically gives three points away so far. I think there's 15. Sixteen DK, man, that's the first one I lost as well, my buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, it looks like bad news for everybody except Yoshi, who's only one away. Peach got a point though. I wouldn't say that was good for her though. Shell shocked. We seen this one yet? I don't think we have. We have not. It's tanks. Two hit, two hits each. DK just assassinated them. They didn't even look at him. I'd rather have... Hot Rope Jump. I can't believe it went off of Hot Rope Jump and back down to Advantage. I'm gonna roll it again. Let's get some- I would like Slot Car Derby in this case. Tile Driver? We haven't seen that. I'll play that. Not my favorite game. Oh, we have seen. I am definitely going for new games at this point. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna back it up. Until we get such a thing as we have not seen. 
There we go. Now we're on the race. Let's do it. AI's problems on this typically is that they spin out and they usually do it right at the racetrack end. So if they're in the lead, don't think they're guaranteed to win because they typically are bad drivers right when they need to be good. Like there they all go, losing their speed a lot. Not to mention the track's a little wonky and it puts first to fourth by way of the way the route is done. Yoshi's out. DK, DK looks good. No, he spun out. Peach might have it. Peach, Mario. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that board. Peach needs to win four in a row. Platform peril. I don't think I don't think we'll do that one again. We've seen it two or three times already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my plan of uh, at least games that we've only seen a couple times would be good. We've seen bombs away. I wonder what happens if you tie. Like if I did bombs away and there's a draw, what what, what would happen? I would really like to see hot rope jump, but uh, we've only seen this one once, so I'll play it. Let's see how this goes. Peach is punching. It's like one character always chooses to just do nothing but punch. If Peach dies, then that's the end of the game for sure. It's all hard to keep this moving. She's still in it. She's no, she took it! Nice work! It's time for that Peach comeback. We don't want that. I've, I've seen Platform Peril a hundred thousand times. What else we got? Finally, my dreams come true. Hot Rope Jump. I think we've seen everything at this point. Which means I'm gonna ease up on the, the selection process a little bit and just let it roll what, what it wants to do. In the first game, it only goes to 20 and then gives points out for draw. Not the case in this one, I think it's infinite. In any case, the AI doesn't last beyond 30 usually. 20 is where they really start to screw up. Who's gonna win? It could, it could come down to the ropes. Oh my god, they're doing so well. I've never seen them do so well. This is incredible. They really want that win. Peach is out. The game is finished. DK, DK, all of a sudden. DK the Rope King. Top five. Arashi Kurabara, I owe you some some stuff. Ravenstorm, Admiral, I owe you some stuff as well. Barely beating Toast Burner B for uh, third place. Less than a couple thousand, the difference between third and fourth. I only give prizes out the first, second, and third. Y'all gonna get a PM from me soon about that. Nice work. And that's AI Arena for this week, folks. Uh, we'll be resetting it next week, so if you want to play again, uh, Friday, 8 p.m., we always run it at that time, Eastern Standard. But next week, especially, you want to tune in because we're starting over, starting fresh. That'll be your chance to get to uh, hit the ground running. The finals night and the first night are the absolute most important nights. Obviously, there's a lot of smackers flying around. I guarantee you that that last bet changed the board a lot. But uh, if you're here from the get-go and you attend every week, you really have uh, like a like a floor baseline. You're 
your odds of losing everything are reduced dramatically, basically, is what happens if you're here all the time. You can still win without doing that, but, uh... There's also a bunch of races going on, because uh, I'm hosting a tournament of Link to the Past. If you're betting on those, you could pick up mm, a couple. There's not going to be too many to bet on, but you might pick up an extra couple bets here and there if you are around for those and you bet on them. Like, just betting on them is helpful because you get XP. You don't really even have to win, though that's nice if you do. <laughs> Moved up 300 spaces. A lot of people were in the brackets this time. Well, I'm going to uh, host my buddy Tuesday. Oh, wait, what the hell is Slowbeat doing? <laughs> I'm curious. I'm gonna host Slowbeat. He's got some goofy title. Um, anyway, I'll see ya uh, later. If you wanna hang out uh, in an hour and a half thereabouts, we will be doing a race of Link to the Past Randomizer team. Uh, it's one of the tournament brackets. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow night with uh, some more of that, actually. Saturday's probably gonna be mostly that. Sunday, Arcade Pit. 8 p.m. See you then. Thanks for coming by.